If you want to build a custom PC, you can do that at Ironside Computers. You just pick your own parts and they will put it together so you don't have to do any building yourself. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I am not getting paid for this. Not like there would be anything wrong with that because I don't care, but I am not getting paid and they're not getting paid. Whoever made the client, no one's getting paid for this because this is RuneLight. This is a free open source and super fast client for old school. The coolest thing about this is that it is open source and that means you can read the code. You can, you know exactly what is in the client if you understand what's in the code. So they have like GitHub and you can compile the code yourself and you can run it so you know exactly what's in there and you're not getting any viruses or anything. But I, I don't understand anything so I assume that someone else said everything and and that I'm not gonna get hacked over this and you can actually this is very community driven as well there are like feature requests that you can ask so something like apply small font option or whatever like FPS plugin request there is like draw manager and uh, there's it's like add clue hints arrows for clues because apparently that could only is not existing but I just want to say that if you do get hacked over this, it is not my fault. Like literally, I am not taking any responsibility for this. Because I'm assuming that if there is like a game update, the client breaks, like OS Buddy, you know, how it needs to be updated. And uh, I think it's pretty much for everything, even like bot and client. So I think then they need to push an update. So when they push an update, maybe it could be something malicious maybe okay so what is this client what is so special about this it has almost all os buddy premium features but they are free you don't have to pay for them so if you're migrating from rune loader or conduit or os buddy you're pretty much gonna find almost the same features in here except the menu is a little bit different as you can see you can scroll and there is like a search option so if you go for like item it will show like item stats and you can disable plugins by just simply clicking and I find it a little bit better than OS Buddy just because it doesn't pop out additional menu and it feels like it's just way smoother. By the way, I'm actually considering using this client full time like I'm not even joking and it's going to be mainly for one feature. Do you remember how many times I've killed a boss and I said, oh, a purple text, oh no, oh no, I thought I got something good, but no, it just loop half of key, or maybe a snapdragon seed, or maybe a lead clue scroll. Ah, you know, I, I thought I just got like armadillo hilt or something, but no, instead is because there is no way to distinguish text. So if I search for item and go to ground item settings, there's going to be different colors for different valued items. So let's say anything above 20,000 is going to be blue. But if it reaches 100,000, then it's going to be green. So let's say if I'm killing Dagnot Kings and I suddenly get a circle, then it will appear as a blue text. But if I'm, well, you're not going to get the whole blade. But let's say hypothetically, you got a blade and it's going to be a green color since it's above 100,000. If I drop a, let's say, twisted bow, which again is not gonna happen, it's gonna appear as the best color. So th that's the best part about this, that if you, no, let's say if you're killing Bando's boss, if you get a Snapdragon seed, you no longer need to be like mad about this. Or if you get a clue scroll elite, let's say, no, no problem, because you're not waiting for a purple text, you're waiting for that pink text. Or actually, whatever color you pick, how does this, Oh, this is uh, pretty cool, so you can just pick whatever color you want. And also, you can pick any value that you want. It doesn't have to be 10 million. You can go for 50 mil if you want to. So yeah, there is highlighted items, there is hidden items. Hide anything below, let's say, 10,000. Because, uh, I mean, do you actually want to see the Slava rune, let's say? So let's go and hide it. Anything below, below let's say, 10,000. Let's go back, and suddenly it doesn't show. However, the only problem that I had initially, if I drop this one, it shows as a very small text. So you actually have to go to Rune Live settings and you have to unclick use smaller font. So it's going to be become a little bit bigger. Although I do wish that it was bold text like OS Buddy has because I don't know, it doesn't seem that noticeable. It's because it, OS Buddy had a, I, I think it had a little bit better 
in my opinion or maybe I just have to get used to the font or something now it does have some features that are not available in OS Buddy like prayer reordering. So you can unlock it and you can swap around prayers wherever you want. So you can have melee prayer up here, just customize it completely and it does work. So it does put on like magic protection. So I thought, oh, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. It could be used for something, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, hey, maybe I can use them because I'm not using hotkeys. Like I'm, you know, like people do like this. I, I, I just never use them. You probably noticed in my videos. So maybe it is better to just have like melee prayer up here. Oh, by the way, you can lock again. So you can, cannot accidentally move this again. So I found this pretty interesting, but I thought, Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So that means that it can switch magic too, and it's actually not available. Now, as some of you may know, in OS Buddy, you could scout raids by just zooming out really a lot and just seeing bosses. So if I move a little bit right here, I think in OS Buddy, you could zoom out even more than you can on this client. I don't know, it doesn't allow you to do too much but basically yeah you could see oh that's there's that boss there's that boss but in here you don't need to do that because you have this zedix chambers plugin so if we go down now it will tell exactly which bosses and which puzzles are going to be in raids now the cool thing about this is that it can actually whitelist and blacklist the rooms so let's say you don't like crabs like you don't, you just don't want a crab puzzle at all so you're gonna go in blacklist and you're gonna type in crabs and you're gonna click back and it's gonna appear as red. And you can act, you can whitelist something like if you really love thieving, let's say. So thieving and go back and it's gonna be green. It's actually a very cool feature because every time you go down, you don't even need to read what's inside there. You just look at colors. If you see one red, uh, maybe, maybe I'm gonna do that one. Or, or no, I'm just gonna wait until all of them are green. Now the next one is Menu Entry Swapper, which seems to be a little bit overpowered and it seems it's in a gray area because it allows you to do a lot of menu swapping. So let's say this guy, nobody pickpockets this guy because the pickpocket option is the second one. The first one is talk to, but you can just use Menu Swapper and it will, you can swap, let's say pickpocket and now it becomes the first option. So you can keep clicking like this. This is not really viable, by the way, since there are like regular ones like this guy, but maybe you can get this guy stuck much easier in, in the pen or something, because I don't think this guy walks to the pen. So maybe you could close this one and like pickpocket. So you, you can do it with this client, no problem. And things like faded rings, because almost nobody uses Zanaris, but this is the first option. And only the third one is your last destination, but you can swap it around and it will become last destination. So you just one click. It's mainly just a quality of life update, you could say. And I think this one makes life much easier. So when you go and fish sharks, this is how you do it. So you click Harpoon and I don't have fishing level on this um, account apparently, but you always have to right click the fishing spot, but you can just click on Harpoon and it will be the first option always. So just click on the spot and that's it. But but it also swaps lobsters, so if you are fishing lobsters, don't do that. And you can see there is a fishing plugin as well, so it shows like nice sharks, so you can very clearly tell where is what. I think it's much better when they use pictures instead of text, like OS Buddy does. I want to see how the counter looks like, so I'm gonna try to catch at least one fish, and here we go. And it says caught fish, but it doesn't say like what kind of fish. But I guess it doesn't matter in most cases. There is not fishing button as well, so it's very easy to to tell. There is also customizable shift click. So by default, if you hold shift, it will drop items. So let's say drop, 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 but if you have this enabled, so go to configure shift click and you click on the item and you can choose which option you want. So let's say I'm going to select break and it's only for that specific item. It's not all teleport tabs. So let's say I'm going to save now and if I shift click, it says drop on this tab, but it says break on this tab. I don't want to do that because I will be teleported to wilderness, but it does work. Now, I don't know where you could use this because I mean, there are probably places where you could somebody's gonna figure something out about this and that is just a bunch of other stuff that you can use as well like player indicators this is just for fun for me but i'm pretty sure a lot of people could find really good use for this so you can draw your own name let's say above the head and since i am in the friend chat it also shows a rank now i can also draw a tile so it's like uh, i guess easier to notice you 
Now this guy I've, I just added, he's a random guy. I, I'm gonna do draw friend names. So now you can see there's a friend and it shows name and there is a tile. It says draw names on the minimap too, if that's what you need. But you can also do like draw non-clan members. So I don't know if you want to do that for some reason. Uh, you can actually remove tiles, but it's still there's like a lot of people. But maybe it's, it's easier like if you're peeking or something at Revenants and everyone's saying like, oh, attack nose. And you're like, where's nose? Where, where do I attack it? And you could like see it better. But if you have too many, then it may be like a little bit distracting you know but yeah especially if you look at the minimap right now uh so you can see this is how it looks like when this guy is following me it's very smooth like i don't know if you can see it in the video but it's extremely smooth the way the tiles move like it's it's just no it's amazing now this is the thing that i really wanted to show but for some reason it just doesn't work but it used to work so if you're a hardcore item and you could try this there is uh, idle notifications and if your hit points go below certain amount you will get notified but i just don't know if i put 97 hp and then i just like eat to 97 i get no notification <laughs> Uh, I think that there could be something with my windows or, or, or something like that because it did work before and it's basically everything in here like there's XP trackers, there's woodcutting helper, they give you notification, they tell you everything. I don't want to show it because if you ever used OS Buddy, it's literally the same. Everything like Slayer, rune crafting, like rune pouches, there's... Um, everything pretty much the only thing that's gonna be missing that could be a big deal for a lot of people is that when you go through the items it doesn't show the actively traded price so if you go and search for something like hmm what is like very low traded so let's say something like third age hat right so you go and click on it and it says just the grand exchange value it doesn't say os buddy guide price which is usually way more accurate so currently there is no such feature in this client. However, they do have item prices. So 46 recoil shows us nothing. If I enable the item prices, it will show, though it's not really, I feel like it's not too friendly. Like um, I cannot see it clearly, or maybe I just need to get used to it because I'm used to OS Buddy instead. But yeah, it does show, like it shows how much each there is and also like high alk and exchange, but you can also configure it so it doesn't show high alk, it shows just the exchange. And yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and bye.